In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four points infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you me the option one with the icon and then you can add the title and the detailed text and below it will show the option two with the different color combination. Then I've added the shadow effect here. And when I click on the right, it will show you the option number three and the option number four. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes from the block and arrows. I'm going to choose this arrow pentagon, just click it here. And then go to the shape format i'm going to make as height 1.75 and width as 4.45 shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to rotate it by holding the alt and the left arrow key three times alt one two and three and make sure that the center should come here you can see here exactly in the center all right now I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to give some different color here. Again, on top of that, I'm going to place it. Now I'm going to hold the Alt and the right arrow key and I'm going to press six times. Alt and the right arrow key, press six times, okay? So Alt, one, two, three, four, five, and six, all right? And then I'm going to place it exactly here and then send this to back, okay? The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one which is from here straight okay for that go to insert shapes select one rectangle shape shape fill give some different color right mouse click go to the format shape and I'm going to make it 50% so that we know exactly where to cut so now you can see here this corner bottom corner I'm going to place it here all right and make sure that the size of the rectangle should be bigger than this one if you cut it if you keep it like this it won't cut properly okay so it always should be bigger then i'm going to hold the ctrl d to duplicate this one and i will use it to cut this shape all right so let me just select this shape first then hold the shift key select this shape merge shape and subtract so you can see here that shape got subtracted then again bring this shape here and again put it exactly on top of this then i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one more shape and subtract so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this then select both the shapes press ctrl g and put it in the center all right and then i'm going to give different colors here so this one light green and here I'm going to give a dark green, okay? The next thing which I would like to do is I would like to add one uh, kind of a shadow effect here. For that, go to insert shapes. From the lines, I'm going to choose a freeform shape. Select the freeform shape starting from here. Go here, this side. I'm going to make kind of a triangle and join this. Shape outline, make it no outline. Shape fill, make it black and the transparency i'm going to make it 50 percent and this group i'm going to ungroup this one hold the ctrl shift g to ungroup this and then send this here so i got this shape now now i'm going to select all these shapes press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it shape format rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and bring this here all right something like this make sure that it is properly aligned and then I'm going to give a different color, maybe a light blue with a dark blue and make sure that these all are ungrouped. All right. The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to add some icons. So go to insert icons and choose any icons depending on the requirement. So in this case, I'm going to choose some random icons. So this icon I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose this one, this one and maybe this and click insert move this aside and i'm going to make the height and width as 0.6 i'm going to put it one here all right and another one here it should be properly aligned 
and one more here and one more here all right so this two is not visible so i'm going to make this as white and let it be these two as black again if you want to change you can change then i'm going to insert the option number here zero one i'm going to choose a font open sans extra bold you can just choose any font of your choice and then i'm going to drag this one exactly on below of this icon hold the control shift key bring this down also now select both these option numbers and bring it to the right all right you can see here and let me just bring this white font so it will be visible black is not visible here also so this is option number one this is option number two option number three and option number four all right so now i'm going to select these two options and hold the shift key select this blue and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one group like this okay now i'm going to select this one first then this one and press ctrl g remember that i'm not selecting the shadow okay then send this two back all right so this is also one group now now again the same thing i'm going to do select this one and this one press ctrl g select these two and select this one by holding the shift key and press ctrl g to group it and again send this two back all right so now the text is i mean my grouping is done now let me just insert some title and detail text here title again i'm going to choose the open sans extra bold write a line and you can give the same color which i have used light blue color and then you can insert some detailed text so equals l-o-r-e-m within brackets and i'm going to delete the long text make it short and the font i'm going to use is open sans only and write a line reduce the font size and put it here all right so you can see here control g hold the control shift key bring it down select both this one control shift and drag it towards the right and make sure this is left align and shape format align make it left here also left align and home and make it left align too all right so now it's only the change of the font color here it will be dark green here it will be dark blue all right so you can see here let me just give a dark blue color here yeah so you can see here i have completed the design now it's time to do a basic animations so go to the animations enable the animation pane first this one i'm going to select and i'm going to use the for the animation which is the stretch go to the more entrance effect select stretch click ok stretch make it from right so it comes something like this and then this also i'm going to use the same animation select this one click on animation painter and click on the text so this also animation then animation should happen after previous then i'm going to select this one click here so this will come all right and then again the animation for this all right so and for the shadow effect make it fade and that should happen with previous so if i play it comes something like this all right same thing i'm going to copy it here and now this one instead of right you make it left and then the title also i'm going to copy the animation again this is also from left then i'm going to copy this here then this title as well and then this animation for the shadow so now if i play it looks something like this 